Good evening. Hey, how's it going? It's mind bug time. You ready to get your mind bugged up? You're all buggy. I uh, have some in the brain. Yeah. So this game uh, recently delivered my Kickstarter last week. Point late last week. Uh, the game is this single deck of cards. That's it. The box. This giant box. <laughs> it basically has room for these play mats and. I guess additional like expansions. Yeah, it seems like a, from what I've seen, it seems like a very easy game to expand. And I think one of the major things here is the just probably the replayability. Of it. Yeah, uh, and I mean, it's, expansions are just going to be like more cards. Right. I could see expansions adding different types of cards. Yeah. Because right now the entirety of this deck is just creatures. Yeah. Uh, basically, what we'll be doing is attacking each other until we die. <laughs> in 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 pure card game fashion, uh, each of us is going to start with three life points. Now we're going to shuffle up the single deck of cards, and we're going to deal each other out ten total cards uh, from this cards. Okay, we're going to use cards from this to track our life points. Like they all have three life points. It just suggests that you can use whatever. Yeah, you want to track life. Uh, the gameplay is you're going to draw up to five cards from your deck of ten cards, and on your turn, there play. A creature card from your hand to the table, or use one of your creatures to attack. Now, um, playing a card. I'll show you one. This is a giraffe and dial. <laughs> you play it to the table. Its power is in the top left. There, it's seven power. Pretty simple. That's, you know, there's no like pile of stats or anything. You resolve its playability, and that's it. Some have uh, keywords. This. Luchatar has Frenzy. I'll explain what Frenzy is in a minute. There's only five or six keywords in the game. Uh, this one has Tough. Lone Yeti. This is a Shadow Realm duel, basically. Uh, bee Bear. There's a bee right there. Look at that. Bug on the screen as we speak. So, you play a creature. You can also attack with a creature. The way attacking works is I have a lone yeti, and I say, this yeti is attacking. Nathan can choose a creature he has in play to defend if he has a creature. And then combat is just to compare the two creatures' power. Lower power sent to the discard pile. If they're equal power. They are both sent to the discard pile. Easy enough. That's the game. If, uh, if the attack is undefended, uh, the opponent loses a life point. You have three life points, you get to zero, you lose. Now, the the mind bug aspect of the game. We have the two titular mind, mind bugs. bugs. Yeah, two mind bugs start in play for either, each of us. Now, after I play a creature from my hand, Nathan can choose, before that creature resolves or enters play or gets picked playability or anything, to expend a mind bug and play that creature as if he controlled it. And he now does control that creature. So. You can use a mind bug to essentially take your opponent's play for the turn. Now, after you you resolve the playability like normal, as if you had played it, you do everything as if you played the card, and then I immediately take another. We both have two mind bugs that last for the entirety of the game. There you go. Yeah, I wonder if it's like strategically best to use your mind bugs as fast as possible, or I mean, I feel like if you, it is, is it you try to you cannot mind bug after your opponent. You can't, uh, you, you can't, can't re-mind bug them. Mind bug my you mind can't bug. can't their minds. Uh, so the keywords, I'll, I'll touch on those real quick. Frenzy. Oh, let me find a frenzy. You have, are they? I also have this explosive toad. <laughs> frenzy is if this card survives its first attack during a turn, it can attack a second time as well. Ooh, okay, seems pretty good. Pretty good. Hunter, let's find a hunter. I guess the damage does not stack. Right. Damage does not stack. It's not persistent. It's just a, it's just a compare. See who survives a hunter. Hunter is when you attack with a hunter instead of the opponent, you may choose an enemy creature who has to block it. So you can you can directly attack creatures with hunter. Poisonous. And this will take care of tough as well. Plated scorpion. Poisonous is in addition to normal combat resolution, this creature always defeats the enemy creature, even if the power value is less than the power value. So poison is 
Yep. Tough. If this card will be defeated and isn't exhausted, exhaust it instead of defeating it. An exhausted card can still be used as normal. Um, but that just means after if a tough creature is exhausted and would die, it is then discarded. So okay. that's cool. And then you have sneaky. E, please, there we go. Sneaky. This creature can only be blocked by sneaky creatures. Mm. There it's you go. Horsemanship. That's it. That's the game. That's all the keywords. That's all the keywords. Okay. Five keywords. All right. That's it. We're doing setup right. But I'm pretty sure setup is literally just shuffle the deck, deal yeah. things out. So yeah. deal mind bugs. Deal each player two mind bugs. Place them face off in front of them. All right. Got my mind bugs right here. Ready to call to call into people's brains. Shuffle the creature deck and deal. Now it's a draw pile. What if you have? I wonder if you're at an advantage going first in this game. Uh, I wonder if the the art is super cool. I like the uh the design of the cards too. They just the... was this uh who published this? Is this on yellow. This was or published this... not by anyone I've ever heard of, nor could I find their Twitter account. Okay, Nerd Lab. Nerd Lab. This okay, based in Germany. Okay, there you go. So say this uh this is like. The Keyforge King of Tokyo style art, where mm -hmm. it's pretty yeah. cartoonish, it leans into the caricature style, and I don't, I don't have a problem with that. I think um, this, this is, and also this game is literally a game you can put in your pocket. Yeah, I have nine. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. There you go. All right, shuffle it up. Uh, if your opponent mind bugs your first card, you would immediately get so whenever yeah. a mind bug is used, you get to take another turn directly after that. So they don't yeah. they can't mind bug and then take a turn. Alright, so I've got three life points right here. Alright. Alright, so draw a strong hands, each player draws five cards from their personal draw file, you create it in step two. Okay. Drop the five. Drop the five. Okay. All right. When you lose, start again with three life points. Whenever you lose a life point, remove one of your tracking cards from the game. Whenever you gain life point, take a pile of cards and your life tracking back. No limit to the number of life points you can have. So there's no three is not the maximum. I guess there's there's no like first turn disadvantage or anything like that. So. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can't attack because you don't have a creature yet. So. Yeah, that's something. All right. Uh, so we should determine who goes first by drawing a card. Very powerful. I okay. have a one. All right. I'll go first. Okay. Okay, I'm going to play this. Uh, Chameleon Sniper and uh, he's looking pretty again. promo. He's, he's blending in right now. That great big box they saw with the, with the tiny rule book. I think they wanted the rule book to be able to fit in the, one of the tough boxes. This is actually like an extra set of cards this game was, so there's actually more cards here that we'll probably play with. So they, I think they want you to like the entire game can basically fit in the box. Yeah, I think it's, it's going to be like a lot of games where I think you just smash all of the cards together and just shuffle. Uh, I'm going to mind bug that because it's... I don't really want to fight the one power sneak. Now, you get to draw a card. Oh, yeah, you take you another turn. Uh, you, basically, whenever you don't have five cards in your hand, you. I don't. I did not have a clean answer to this chameleon sniper, so. I think I just mind bug it right away. Yeah, I'll play this tiger squirrel. Just because I need something sneaky to block with. Even though that's. Playability is very good. Uh, and when this creature dies, does it go to my the card pop? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to play the Luchatar. Nine power frenzy. Uh, 
play this Gorillion. Gorillion. Our flavor text is Why did you take the bananas? <laughs> Tell me why. Uh, draw up. Uh, I'm going to play the shield bugs tough and my other allied creatures have draw. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. I'm assuming you draw at the beginning of your turn. Okay, I'm going to play this killer bee. Play the opponent loses one life point. No, no. It's like that. You draw as soon as you don't have five. Oh, okay. okay. Even before anything were Um, okay, then I am going to attack with the 10 power. I'll defend with the grill I am. I'm gonna attack with Killer B. Got him. Target. Okay, so they're tough. Uh, I'm gonna play the Sharky Crab Dog Mummy Puss. <laughs> sharky Crab Dog Mummy Puss. So it's got um, Hunter. Well, you have. Well, one of your creatures is Hunter. Sneaky Frenzy Poisons. So. It doesn't gain tough, but it has, you know, all your time. Six power for the Uh I'm going to go ahead and the Killer B take out the Okay. Your toast. Um, yeah, it's Captain Corsage. You're right. It's like that. I am uh, I'm gonna have the sharky crab uh hunter that thing using your hunter. I'm gonna have the killer bee fight. Okay, I'll have the chameleon sniper attack you. Okay. Uh, I might lose. Because it just attacks Yeah, I think it's just attacks you. Alright, I'll play this blade scorpion. Tough and poisonous. <laughs> I'll attack you the sniper. Alright, I die. <laughs> Well, there you go. That's All mine, right. bug. That's fast. <laughs> that's mine, bug. Pretty fast. You die to die with two mag bugs. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's really bad. Let's try this. All right, let's get these other cards. In. Shove the whole pile together. Yeah, why not? There were extra mine bugs in there. Yeah, don't use, don't shuffle. So, I wonder. Yeah, like I said, I wonder if the strategy is to aggressively use mine bugs or. Is it a I mean, it's, it is a thing. short game, right? Mutually assured destruction, right? Hey, you get to... I did not have uh, a clean way to kill that chameleon, and I'm glad that you didn't have a clean way to kill it. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Repurpose this. Yeah. Just real quick. Tiny Eddie. Yeah, there's the stream. There's the stream, yeah. Okay. I've been sorting a lot of keyboard cards, as you can tell by yeah. the piles of boxes. Uh, 
Let's say WC and MM on them. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. This is alliance prep. We're gonna, we're gonna shuffle our keyforge decks together and uh, <laughs> play up one. What was the disappointing? I think so. All right. We're, uh, we will be trying some alliance prep here shortly. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll do a, a break for YouTube purposes, but um, we'll be right back to my stuff. We do want to give Mindbug its fair shake. Yeah. But, um, but yeah. I, we when we sat down and we were talking about the game, we we're like, well, this may go pretty quick, so we might be able to uh, get a nice, quick YouTube video and then get back to doing Alliance prep. Four. Also four. Ten. Okay. You're enjoying the mind bug? It's pretty cool. Alright, so I am first. So I don't want to play anything that I like immediately lose to. Right. It's the thing. Like um, I did. Nah. So these cards don't matter, because they won't ever come into play. They're just kind of used to track like once oh, yeah, you get uh, extra life points. Not life points. Yeah. I haven't seen any cards that like say grab any extra cards from over there. I, I think that's like a mechanic they could build off. So no one in their out of their two deck pairs had more than four houses to choose from. Yeah, that was bad luck, right? Hus extorter. Uh eight power attack, the opponent discards a card. Plays Barrett Bomber. Play the opponent, discards two cards. Hmm. Sneaky, huh? Okay, I'll discard the Spider Owl. And I'm going to discard uh, the Majestic Manticore. Yeah. All right, so I am going to attack you with the Tusk Extorter for eight. Attack you. Okay. Okay. I lose that a life. We'll play Luchatar. It's your boy, Luchatar. Yeah, I don't know that Alliance Hill is pro probably definitely not the best solution for regular seal. Cheaper, more approachable, right? Frenzy Hunter. Look, I'm trying to extort you here. Uh, you're not making it easy to extort you. All right, I'm going to play the Plated Scorpion. Uh, 
Um, I'm in my book. Okay. I am going to play the grave <clears throat> robber. Play play a card from your opponent's discard pile. Alpha. Yeah. Lose a life. So oh, I lose a life. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What is Luke's char attack? Um I'll block with a grave robber. It's tough. Yeah. Frenzy, so I'll have it attack. Oh, I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, I'll let the grave robber die. Yeah, I would never. Seal Alliance with new people is definitely more than likely going to be a bad experience. Uh, I'm going to have the Gore Eagle Alpha attack the Ferret Bomber with Hunter. And then it has Frenzy. Tough. Want it? Uh, uh, okay, I, I'll I'll be done there. I can choose not to frenzy, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play this mind bug bug. The opponent uses a mind bug; they first lose one. Okay. I uh, my mind bug that not lose a lot of life because no, I just I take it. So. Okay, I'm gonna mind bug that. Excuse me. All right, you get another turn. I have loose charge time. I'll defend with the mind bug bug, it's tough. I'll defend with the glory bull alpha. I am going to Play this explosive toad. Okay. Uh, frenzy and defeated defeat a creature. Hmm. I think I mind bug this. I do have to lose it. Hmm. Okay, I play Killer B. No! <laughs> You got you got stand by me. Damn. All right. Mine bug. That's mine bug. <laughs> there you have it. Uh man, this this is this is the between rounds of game. That's yeah. That's, this that's is the tournament's game. Right? Yeah, yeah. The game's fast. You don't really care what happens in it. You just see some stuff yeah. happen, and it's like high impact plays. It's, it's very fast. These boxes here. Yep. There you go. Mine bug. Um, coming to a store near you? Question marks. I assume. Yeah, it's nice and quick. Yeah. Uh, because we, I mean, we played two games in twenty three minutes. That was with some preamble. That was with some between the game chatter. Um, so yeah, yeah I'll show you. I'll show you the uh, packaging in the box. Yeah. Wait for. Right. Roll these playmats up. Okay. Roll them on up there. Mm -hmm. Grab this box. Nice. Get a nice tight roll going here. Very, very nice tight roll. There, we have this box here. Cool little insert in the box. We're gonna place rolled up playmats on the side here. Okay. We're gonna place them. Okay, and then we're gonna put the mind bug box here, like that, I guess. And there you go. Mind bug. Mind bug. There you have it. It is a uh, There's a lot of room for more stuff. Right? Yeah, I don't know the I don't know uh what the what was the cost on this? Uh actually the Kickstarter for everything was like it was like playmat. 
I think it was like 50. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's maybe that's basically the two mats, right? Like, if you're paying 50, you get two mats, you're basically buying those mats. So it's like a $10 game. Yeah. Um, so the game itself is nice and cheap. If you're a fan of, like, I would say Star Realms, uh, any of, like, the quick single deck games where uh, you want to play... If you're looking for, like, quantity of games that can be played with variability, I would say this... Yeah. It's got a wide variety of like. It's much faster than Star Wars. Yeah. So. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, yeah. We we'll yeah. Love Letter Q. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, a lot like those, right? Like really fast. That's if you're a fan of that style of game, right? Um, it's it's a nice tight package. There's not like a whole lot of flash to it. You do have some critical decisions, like that game. Did you die with a mind bug left? Yeah, you did, right? No, I used both my mom. You my used both? Yeah. Did I, 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 I used my last mom, but I had to pay a life because you my yeah. blood my guy that yeah. gives me a life. So, yeah. Okay. The stream is ending. Okay. Yeah. Well, but, uh, it's yes. ending. Yeah. YouTube, YouTube smash cut ending credits now.